we're, we're, I'll tell you where we are. We're back down. We're back down at Conway, which is the this is the first visit back, and of course it'll be on camera. What I'm going to do? I'm going to get set up and play probably six holes. I ain't going to play um, more than that in terms of a video. I'll play six holes. I've got a full set of PXG that I've managed to get hold of. So I'm going to play with the new 211 irons and the 211 fairways hybrid and driver. We'll see what I score. But I'm only doing six because everybody will want shot traces and I can't be bothered doing shot traces on any more than six holes. Lazy. That's a fact. Hey. Lazy. <laughs> I just hate doing it. Right. I'm also a bit tired. I'm not. On, I'm not a morning person. But I'll be all right in a minute. Right, so what I've got is I've got a few of the irons and I've also gone down to the uh, wedge, but I've also got the lob wedge and I'll tell you why in a minute. I've brought out uh, 19 and 22 degree hybrid, three wood and driver, all from this 0211 range. And it was because, A, I wanted to get back on the golf course and play uh, some proper golf. So we'll record, we'll see what I score with this uh, sort of six holes. Uh, but more importantly, put these to test in reality out here on the fairways because everything at the minute we've been doing over the last few months has been in that sort of uh, controlled environment in the driving range the thing is about this at the minute from pxg is that all these are so different in terms of the way they're priced i've been reading a lot of comments about there's i think there's a full bag deal going on right now so i just thought it'd be interesting to play with their whole set so i've managed to get all of these for a while and uh, I'll see how I get on and I'll give you my sort of findings. We're starting off on the 12th, I'm going to th play 12 through to 17 at Conway. Kick it off with a driver, see how we get on. Right, first drive away, it was uh, more than happy with that. I think the one thing straight away that I noticed is that, uh, and again, I said this in the bay, is the, the negative that I had against the driver, very much like I've got against the Ping G425, it is really hard off the face and uh, yeah, it's just something that you're going to, won't matter to a lot of people but for me it's just a little bit too harsh and uh yeah very very hard uh coming off that club face but we're away anyway we're on the fairway right i'm gonna play three hybrid i want to be sort of on the brow this is a par five opener uh, i want to be right at that bunker and you can pick it up on the horizon there you'll see the 12 uh, which is a, an aiming point I want to be right at that and sitting on the brow after this shot. I'll just pull it at the bunker, just slightly left of the bunker. Oh, that's not too bad. That absolutely flew off. Could anybody lose that golf ball? A tour, soft response, tailor made. We'll have that. Oh. Yeah, decent start. I'm happy with that five. It was a great chip. And uh, first thing to note was that was a, a nine iron, by the way, a little bit of a chip and run. The great thing was I love the feel that you get out of the irons. That's a real, um, again, chalk and cheese compared to what I say about the driver. There's great feel out of the irons. And again, don't forget there's a cast head. Uh, so yeah, up and down for par. And another point to mention again, just on sort of... Uh, managing your game was the fact that it was the wrong yardage in terms of what i played second shot you either lay up short of that bunker or you go past it and uh, i sort of got caught in between the two so that was the error there but fortunately we still made uh, made par so a decent start Right, so yet again, uh, I played a real good shot right down the uh, right right down the flag. But we're playing this was just out of interest. It was 165 to the flag. I reckon I've come probably 185 almost in the air. I played six iron. It was a wrong choice, and I forgot just how uh, kind of uh, strong lofted these are. So something you have to change. But again, 
the, the ball absolutely zipped out the face and the, it's the feel it's really good i genuinely believe these are these are probably and then you put if you put the price tag in on these 0211s i think they're the one of the best buys out there right now but we've got a really difficult uh put this is just like get it to the brow at dead weight and then it's going to go down uh downhill like a roller coaster the only thing we're not playing in the bag that is uh, PXG is uh, is a putter, and that was my fault. Bad packing. Or you can do that. Don't even reach the brow, and leave it even worse place. Right. This will be a good three. Well, it's been a bit of a uh, nightmare show on the putter. Well, we trickled in a four and uh, that was largely down to that terrible first putt. It wasn't a great second one either. Right, it is great to be back out on the golf course testing golf clubs uh, in reality. I love this part of the job. But my uh, question for you is, uh, how many of you have either tried the PXG range, this new 0211, this kind of budget range in terms of, well, at least from PXG's perspective, how many of you have tried it or how many of you got on the wish list this year? Because I'd be really interested. I'll be honest with you, it's a hard range to knock at the moment. And again, when you throw in that price point, it's, um, it's a massive change up. Right, leaked the drive out a little bit, but it's a good opportunity. I'm gonna play three wood uh, the first time we did this this morning. It's another par five. Um, from my initial test, again, wasn't too keen on the feel off the face, a little bit harsh. All the sort of metal woods seem to be that way, uh, but very shallow in the top head address and that looks brilliant I think um, and it's it's the top line in terms of what you see at address is what was been in the premium products it's uh, like I said I still can't get my head around this whole new different price point but anyway we'll see how this gets on in terms of performance um, yeah I leaked it out a little bit but it's sitting up very nice and uh, it shouldn't be no issue to play three wood so down that left hand bunker with a bit of cut is the shot for me Well, it didn't cut, but it should be fine there. Carry. Yeah, it's bouncing. We're okay. It was uh, at the bunker and just a little bit left of it and didn't quite get the cut I would have hoped for. Right, one of the things I wanted to speak about was the uh, wedge setup within these 0211. So they go from four iron through to lob wedge. Uh, so that includes a uh, gap wedge, pitching wedge, sand wedge, lob wedge. So we've always looked at like... Um, Stronger lofted irons being a potential issue in how you gap the bag, how many wedges you need in the bag, all those kind of things. The other thing it throws into the equation, so this is gapped right, is what I was trying to say there. You've then got this issue about, we generally go to, a lot of golfers go to pitching wedge, and then they go to specialist wedges, if you like. So, you know, put a Vokey in the bag and all those kind of things. Often a blade wedge, that's another argument that we've had for long enough. And uh, my um, thought process is this, why do we switch out from pitching wedge and then go into these kind of specialist wedges, if you like, when really surely it would be make sense to keep so the same shaft, same head combination right the way through the bag. So that's kind of like, it's interesting because these are very, the point is these are very playable wedges. Again, they've done a great job in making them um, bunker play, short game. The way they've been put together, really nice indeed. And I think a real great option. I've got a camera at the back of the green. We're playing out of interest, 97 yards. Um, and I'm hoping, I've not played many full shots with this, so I don't know my yard. But let's see what this does in terms of reaction. That's not enough yards, is it? Go, go. Uh, we probably 
should have picked that up on the camera. It wasn't enough yards. Like I said, this is the lob wedge. I'm not entirely sure of what the loft is on it, but there's plenty of it. I can see that from where it sat down. Uh, that's probably carried around sort of 80, 85 yards. But we should have picked that up on the camera at the back of the green, and it looks to have pitched and stopped dead. But again, like I said, just a, a real interesting setup. That, and a lot of manufacturers are doing this is where, particularly the stronger lofted clubs is, gapping wedges all the way down to like i said into a lob wedge which um, i think it needed to be done quite a bit short there i think we just about grabbed it on the camera uh, to see the stop but out of interest it was about a foot before it came to rest uh, but another uh, fair bit away from the hole no yardages let's make a better put than what we did on the previous hole go ball go ball yeah, much better. Uh, I made the excuse after the camera went off uh, on the previous hole where I left it short of the slope. There is still a bit of dew on the ground. We're very early morning. You can see then uh, give that one a bit more of an extra hoof as uh, it's a little bit slower than normal. So we made five. So a one over. I can't believe how nice it is to get back out and uh, that's the first thing to say. I hope you're all uh, enjoying life back out on the fairways after this uh, rather severe lockdown. Um, but the other question I have for you as well is that uh, how many of you have a sort of brand loyalty where you have the whole set through the bag? Because it's kind of like, I don't think it's something I've ever done where I've gone literally from driver through to putter with the same brand. But uh, I think maybe some people do that. So I'd be interested to know in the comments down below, is there, are, are you one of those people? Right, on to 16th, and uh, a birdie gets us back to level. Really pleased with that, but I'm going to go three wood off 16. It's a tight one. Uh, suits my sort of shot, really, in that uh, we just need that little bit of a cut. It's a bit of a left to right, but I've been hitting straight so far, and I can't do that. I've done it again. It's, come on, it's tight down that left-hand side. Sit down. Sit down. It's bouncing. We've got away with murder there. There's some tracks down the uh, tractor tracks down the left hand side on the gorse, and I'm incredibly tight to it, but uh, we're all right. As he did, or I got away with murder because this is so tight to being in the gorse, um, and at almost a full swing, I think I've just been to this and had a little bit of a a bit of a bash, and we're not too bad. We've got 160 in, but I'm way further left than what I need to be. I've hit a lot of balls, like I said straight with no cut whatsoever today but there's a chance to uh, get away with murder a little bit awkward i can't go left here so oh, i've got that really thin but straight it's going to chase down i can't see it because we're right into the sun hence the camera that way but i reckon that could be in the middle of the green you know and it was an absolute woeful shot well look i'm probably uh, a good 20 yards away from the flag but believe me that shot was terrible and i'm uh, more than happy to be here uh the uh, the golfing gods are shining on me because i've just got away with two horrendous shots it's a type of hole where all of a sudden you're rolling a uh, a monster putt for bird you know i think that would be uh asking a bit too much we'll give it enough roll out Roll out, roll out. Not quite enough. Well, I think I should be grateful I'm putting for par because it could have easily been a reload off the tee. How did that not go in? Wow. Well, it's a bogey and uh, probably a bogey that uh, I deserved at least. The other point to mention is why isn't Billy Horschel as quick as that in terms of marking his ball and making a putt? 
Right, so we've gone back to one over, 17th, uh, many of you will know, is an incredibly tight hole here at Conway and uh, my last of the day. So we're going to go hybrid, I had a really solid hybrid, the second shot of the morning and I need another one of them, come on. That's brilliant. <laughs> the sigh of relief is, uh, is at the same time, that's middle of the fairway. Woof. Right, we're on. Stay there, ball. Stay there. Stay. Yeah, that we're, we're kind of, uh, we're right hand side of the green. We got two put for a four. Right, so we got pin high. Um, that was 150, by the way, I played eight iron, which I would say is my yard is a little bit stronger. And I've slightly got used to them as the round's gone on. We've avoided that sort of left bunker, or left as we'd have seen it, coming up the fairway, but we're away right. And a long putt. Get up, get up. Yeah, it's a good weight. It's fell off the left hand side, wasn't quite firm enough to ever make the hole, but it's, uh, it's a decent four and a decent finish. And uh, that leaves me, I think it is one over, we'll have a count back, no doubt the score will have been tallying up as we go, but uh, I'm pretty sure that left me one over. So, really good six holes, struck the ball well. This is a combination of A, me playing golf out on Conway Golf Club and seeing how I got on, but, but also how it performed in sort of uh, the whole bag of this PXG 0 to 11 range out on the fairway. Uh, my opinion would be this. Driver three wood, still a bit too harsh for me off the face. That would be my off put in an overriding comment on those. Won't matter to everybody, but that would be my negative. Um, in terms of the hybrids, I think they're superb. And I don't know whether they use different materials in terms of the face or anything in terms of the body, but I don't get that same sort of uh, harsh sound out of the hybrids. And uh, they perform so well and very, very consistent. But I reckon the star of the show is the irons for me. From a cast club, the feel, the sound. Um, yes, they're a bit stronger lofted. You get used to them yardages and the fact that they've got this uh, wedges right through to that bottom end of the lob wedge makes them a real appealing buy. And for that sort of quality uh, of build and performance and everything that goes into it, like I've said all throughout the video, uh, really worth checking out and, um, and putting on your list if you're considering new irons uh, this year. Anyway, that's me done. It was, uh, it's hard to do one of these videos because you're half concentrating on trying to play, uh, which makes you a little bit miserable, which I'm not the most animated of people at all times, but you're trying to concentrate, but then talk to the camera. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Comments down below, and uh, we'll see you back on the fairways again pretty soon. Is that Lou? Wait, what are you, I haven't seen, yeah, that's as far as you can come, still two meters. It was missed, Blue Tick Lou, as he's better known. I didn't even rate your, uh, yeah, a shadow of your former <laughs> self. Now, yeah. You've been gymming it or what? A little bit of running, so lockdown running. That's I hope your audio is getting picked up on here. Yeah, lockdown running. Lockdown That's running. Been doing, yeah. You were up snowing Last yesterday. That was the last, I think the last video I was on, you were trying to shit <laughs> over here. That is, trying, to, trying to give me a Mackey's breakfast. That is all we film is on McDonald's. Listen, what I want to know is, um, who wants to see Lewis back on the channel? I think, to be honest with you, he beat me five at four, five and four in a nine-hole match at Sandyway, and I never let him come back. <laughs> that was the last oh, we ever seen him. That was a long time ago, that, wasn't it? Yeah. No, that was when we could sit at the same table. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So, are, you, are we ready for the rematch? Rematch? Yeah. yeah. How was we'll your game go, this morning? We'll go out now. I'm too tired, mate. How was your, how was your <laughs> game? I'm knackered. I don't know about anyone else. I've but... only played six holes. How was yeah. your game? Good. Yeah, Good. all right. Yeah. New clubs? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah, I've so, forgot, forgotten a few. There's some left at home. Tell everyone new, what new irons you've got. Oh, 770s, P770s. You love them, don't you? So, yeah. Took the plunge, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. Right, well, that's it. Didn't expect to see Lewis down here. Noticed his swing, can spot that anywhere. Pure class on the golf course. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you soon, and so will Lou. Yeah.